Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. Wake up! The movie will begin in five moments, the mindless voice announced. And with me, let's run. Despite the criticisms leveled at the band for producing more obviously commercial material and the band's failure to properly craft the celebration of the lizard, Waiting for the Sun was nevertheless a huge commercial success. Not only was it their first US number one album, it was also their breakthrough record in other territories. And in September, they traveled to Europe for their first tour outside of their homeland. Yet the live shows presented other problems. Since being arrested on stage at the end of 1967, Morrison's explosive stage persona was becoming notorious, while the audience themselves were erupting at the gigs and riots were breaking out. Many were now attracted to the show simply for the unpredictable spectacle itself. Yet this unpredictable element of Morrison's live persona had always been a key part of The Doors' set and a manifestation of the singer's artistic philosophy. Robbie Krieger was playing around with this flamenco guitar riff um, called Asturias, which is like a classical guitar figure, and it became Spanish Caravan. Lazarek hopped aboard that, you know, and they, they turned it into this kind of, you know, flamenco epic. I mean, that, that was Dawes' creativity. Nothing to do with gin, though. Um, Dawes' creativity between the three. This is the first time in a Doors song that I've heard Robbie Krieger go outside of a country style lick, a blues lick or a jazz lick, was the intro to Spanish Caravan. This flamingo style, very different. I get goosebumps every time I hear this. I've heard many other bands steal this incredible piece. Almost the first time I've heard Bobby Krieger get dirty with his sound. This is just, and I couldn't get enough of it. I just wish he had layered another track of this on top of it just to, to help the song as it went along from this delicious psychedelic sound. And in true Doors fashion, it really starts to electrify. Maybe you can compare it to, to a folk band like, like The Birds or Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. But the way it starts surprises everyone. And then all of a sudden you go, oh, yeah, it's The Doors, because it finally electrifies.
I know you care